Okay, ladies and gentlemen, calling uh, well, the next guest. He's, uh, he's off the wall. Uh, he's, he's different. And uh, I'm a huge fan. You know, I had left Yak Yaks and gone. I don't even know what the, I'm bad with directions, but I went to L.A. <laughs> so I don't even think L.A. is in that direction. Well, it depends. If, for you people at home, it depends which way your couch is facing. So there might be, <laughs> might be that way. But I moved down to L.A. So I didn't see this guy until he moved down to L.A. And I saw him at comedy clubs and on television there and then in films there and became a huge fan. And he is absolutely brilliant and uh, one of my favorite all-time comics. Ladies and gentlemen, Harlan Williams. Canada, how you doing out there, man? Nice, nice, sir. Man, security's tight flying up here. Holy God. Coming through the airport, the customs guy. I'm going through Canada Customs. The guy looks at me and says, Sir, are you an illegal alien? I looked at him right in the eyes and I said, <laughs> got me right through, man. <laughs> what a treat. Canadians, man. We're polite, too, man, aren't we? We're polite. Canadians are polite. But we're all guilty of this little infraction. You've all done this. You've all been in the elevator waiting to go up to your hotel room or your office or your apartment. You're standing in the elevator. The elevator doors start to close. And all of a sudden, there's that one loser running through the lobby. He's like, wait, hold the door, hold the door. And you're standing in the elevator, and you pretend to push the door open button. You're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what a world, man. Too many of us almost, isn't there, man? There's too many products, too. They're starting to put products into similar packaging. How many guys here like me have brushed their teeth with Vagisil? <laughs> I've had a yeast-free smile for a week, man. What a treat! How many guys here have done this? Eating a whole package of birth control pills thinking it was the new Pez UFO-shaped dispenser. <laughs> I got a $50 bill today. There was a snowy owl on the back. What a beautiful bird, the snowy owl. This is my impression of the snowy owl. Fuck, it's cold. <laughs> Man, I screwed up the other day. You ever see a guy with a tracheotomy? I saw a guy with a tracheotomy hole the other day, a big hole right here. I'd never seen one before. I said, buddy, I know what's going on. You're a dolphin. <laughs> he just looked at me like I didn't know what I was talking about. Man, it hit me. Of course he doesn't understand me. So I tried a different approach. I was like, hey, buddy. I got a tattoo, man. I went in, I got a tattoo of the sun. And uh, I'm going to go back in a couple of weeks and get the two scoops of raisins. <laughs> My dad got a tattoo, man. 71 years old, he goes out and gets a tattoo. 71. But he wanted one of these interactive tattoos. You've seen them, the guys that get the hula girls on their stomachs. They make them wiggle and dance. My dad wanted something interactive, but he wanted something a little more original. So he, he went out and he got a tattoo of the, the Disneyland log ride on the crack of his ass. <laughs> Says every time he takes a shit, he feels like a kid again. What the hell? <laughs> it's 
good to be here tonight, man. This is all about celebrating Yuck Yucks, 25, and 25 years of doing stand-up comedy. And, uh, you know, I just want to say to the, all the people that work at Yuck Yucks and to Mark Breslin especially, it's like every star needs a space to shine. Big star, small star, fleeting star. And Mark provided all of us with that space and for that I want to say thank you and part of my success and everything I've done I always think of Yuck Yucks as part of that so thanks a lot Mark thank you Yuck Yucks thanks for digging comedy you crazy bastards and God bless Canada take care folks